Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? Uh, it's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. So this is it. This is going to be that 22-minute comparison between 55 TCL R617 television, commonly known also as 6 Series model. We're going to compare it with Sony X900E. And uh, we're going to see how they compare with each other, but... Please do keep in mind this very important thing. It's very important that you understand a couple of key differences here. Uh, this is a budget TV. What you're looking at here, it's a budget TV that costs only $600. And it has some pretty cool features for a budget TV. Sony X900E, it's a premium quality TV that costs $1,000 more. It's $1,500. It has a better processing chip, X1 processing chip, uh, a little bit of a higher peak brightness, and a little bit of better color gamut. So, I want you to keep that in mind. The one TV, it's premium quality, and this one here, it's a budget TV. And that's how, that's how I'm going to grade this. So, I want you to understand that at the end of the video, I'm telling you right now, you have that basic understanding. This is a budget TV, Sony X900E, it's a premium quality TV, more expensive TV. So it's very important that you understand how I'm grading this. I'm grading it based on the money, the budget, the money you're paying for it, and the performance that it gives out for that type of uh, budget money cash that you're paying. So let's go ahead, let's do this. Okay, what you're looking at here, it's the uh, Michael Bay's Transformers, The Last Night. It's one of the scenes in uh, England. And you know who she is. She plays a, uh, I guess, Merlin, Merlin, the se uh, she's the Merlin, uh, great, 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 great granddaughter. Okay, hypothetically speaking. Anyway, we're not here to talk about the movie, but let's go ahead and start comparing. Also keep in mind, what you are seeing through camera, you are not seeing exactly what I'm seeing. I'm not doing this video to tell you through camera, hey, look, this is the difference, night and day. What this video is about, it's about me telling you what I am seeing because I have all these TVs. I have them. They're in my possession. I bought them. And I can tell you exactly what I'm seeing. You'll just have to take my word for it. I'm not being sponsored by anybody. That's another bonus. No one's paying me money for this video to tell you go with this or go with that. I'm just here to give you my unbiased opinion in 22 minutes. Now let's get to it. All right, before we start our comparison, it's really important that you guys understand that I have set everything to the brighter, brightness, to the HDR set to bright, Backlit set to maximum, contrast set to maximum, sharpness at 20 default, color at 50, color temperature at normal. So that way it's a balanced color. There's no warm, there's no yellow warm or cold blue tone of color. Everything you see, it's set to a uh, standard normal. We're going to do the exact same thing with Sony, okay? What I'm looking for on this comparison is going to be two things. The contrast ratio of local dimming to, to see how the deep dark levels are. Uh, actually, three things. The contrast ratio, deep dark levels, and number two, peak brightness, and number three, the color gamut. So three things. Uh, local dimming, peak brightness, and color gamut. Those three things I'm looking for. Now let's go ahead and let's switch to Sony X900E with this exactly same still from the movie. One, two, three, and four. All right, so here we are on Sony X900E. And I can tell you right off the bat is that Sony X900E has a higher peak brightness and that higher peak brightness of nits definitely shows up here like when you look in the background you look at the grass you look at the way everything it's 
lit up and brighter here. The saddle, the horse, uh, her hair, everything, the grass. So you get a much better peak brightness here that's visible, okay? Even in the background, you can see the, uh, the forest and everything much clearly. Uh, and even the lines right here on the, uh, on the field, that's because you have a higher peak brightness. Now, I do expect this TV to have a higher peak brightness because it is a $1,500 TV. You're paying a higher price, so you expect a better picture quality. Uh, color gamut, it's pretty good as well. But I would say the color gamut, it's about the same as the uh, R617. Honestly, in my opinion, this is my opinion. You guys don't have to agree with it. But in my opinion, I think that both color gamuts are equally same. You know, uh, you would be hard pressed to find the difference. However, however, higher peak brightness definitely helps the color gamut. You know, you got to have that higher peak brightness to help that color gamut. That color gamut without a higher peak nits of brightness, it's really not going to mean jack shit. So I'm sorry for the language. So yeah, of course, the higher peak brightness definitely helps the color here. The deep dark levels are, of, of course, excellent here on Sony X900E. Here's the deal. I don't want to butcher this and confuse you. I'll try to talk to you in a basic, simple ways. Sony X900E, it's a premium television. So you expect for $1,500, you expect the premium quality. And with the X1 processing chip, you're going to get that premium quality here. However, for a TV that's $600 budget TV, and the kind of picture quality you're getting for $600, it's pretty outstanding what TCL is doing here for $600. Let's go jump into TCL again. Let's switch back to TCL. In about uh, four seconds. One, two, three, four. Now you guys can't see it with camera. And I think I already mentioned that. You know, you can't judge this video through this video. Watching it through a camera. Uh, but I do notice slight decrease of the peak brightness here. Because this TV doesn't have that high peak brightness as Sony X900E. With Sony X900E, uh, everything was brighter here. You saw everything much brighter. Uh, you saw things much more clear. Now, peak brightness definitely helps the white color gamut. But you guys have to remember, what we just saw a moment ago, it's a $1,500 TV. Okay, that's if you get a 55 inch. If you go with a 65, it's going to cost you almost $2,000. That's a premium quality TV, okay? This right here, it's $600. This is a budget TV. So the way I'm grading this, it's, it's in terms of a budget uh, TV. For the budget, for the money you're spending here, you're getting a lot of cool accolades. You're getting a lot of cool features for $600. You're getting a much higher peak brightness than the uh, 5 Series. You're getting much better color gamut than the 5 Series. And you're getting a much better uh, processing as well than the 5 Series. Including that motion flow, which is much better. And of course, the IPQ uh, intelligent picture quality natural cinema calibrating mode as well. So you're definitely getting some cool accolades here for, for $600. All right, let's go to another still. Let's go to another uh, scene here really quick. We're going to look for peak brightness here now. I'm going to check for peak brightness again uh, with another scene really quick. All right, on this scene, I'm going to look for the peak brightness in color gamut. Now, what I'm seeing here, it's great. It's great for a badge for a budget TV, okay? What I'm looking at here, it's excellent for a budget TV. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is in about four seconds, I'm gonna switch to Sony X900E with its exact same still. So let's go ahead and let's switch 
to Sony X900E. One, two, three, four. So here we are with Sony X900E. Obviously Sony X900E it's a much brighter TV so the peak brightness here will be much much better than on the TCL R617. Now that's okay you know you expect this TV to have a higher peak brightness than the TCL R617. You expect this TV to have a much better color gamut with that peak brightness than the uh, TCL R617. So of course that Sony X900E is going to be a better TV because you're paying $1,500 due to the X1 processing chip. But let's remember TCL it's only $600. So for $600 you're getting a much saver, better saver deal if you will on the money. You're saving over $1,000 you're only spending $600, which gives you another extra $500 to spend on a console. All right. So, obviously, this TV, it's brighter. I'm not, like, saying that it's not. It is brighter, and it looks better, obviously, because it's a brighter TV. Uh, everything is set equally. The, the color, tone is set to a natural, neutral. Uh, peak brightness set to high. Uh, backlit set to high, contrast set to high, so color is set to 50 with a color tone of neutral, standard. No yellow color tone, no blue color tone, so it's all set to natural. And of course, this one here has a higher peak brightness, and when you add the X1 processing chip with the live color, of course, this TV is going to look the best. So if you want to watch this movie, obviously you want to watch it on this TV because it's just a much better, brighter 4K HDR TV. However, you're spending $1,500. On a TCL, you're spending only $600. It's really important to remember that. Okay, so let's go back to uh, TCL R617. So what have we learned on this video? By the way, my batteries are running out. I only have like 5% left on my GoPro Hero 6. So I'll have to end this video quick and short. There will be more videos coming. So what have we learned on this comparison on this video? We have learned one important thing. That TCL, what TCL is doing here, it's pretty outstanding. They're pushing the envelope each year. They're giving us a almost near premium quality televisions for a $1,000 less price. So for $600, TCL, it's a great choice. And it's a great choice for someone who wants to step into 4K, HDR, and Dolby Vision. You're getting two HDR formats. You're getting an excellent contrast ratio, excellent local dimming zones, great white color gamut, and the peak brightness, it's great for this budget TV, you know. And when you compare it to Sony X900E, obviously Sony X900E, it's a better TV. But you got to remember, you're spending $1,500, okay? Now, if I put uh, regular Joe and Mary, they wouldn't be able to detect the peak brightness and color gamut and all this other stuff. They wouldn't be able to tell a difference. But even for me, I can tell you that if I was somebody who was looking to spend only $1,000, $1,100, and was looking to get into 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, 4K gaming, and a 4K TV, this would be my ideal choice to go with. So rest assured, TCL is a great TV. I haven't had any bending issues from top to bottom. I have tested this TV in the middle of the night with the lights turned off. So far, I got lucky, I guess. Now, just because I haven't had those issues doesn't mean that other people didn't have those issues. But I think those were the first adopters. Uh, first, you know, adopters that pre-ordered the TV. They got a limit, maybe, probably. 
But right now, I think they have fixed this issue in their newest shipment of the month of June. Well, there you have it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Sorry for the short video. Uh, I'm running out of uh, battery here on my GoPro Hero 6. So thank you for watching.